Hey there. I need to find me a love puppet. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Must be one round here somewhere. Let me find you. <laughs> oh, oh, you like it rough, do ya? You like it rough? Okay, here I come. Let me get on top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like it like that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Come here, big boy. <laughs> here I come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hot. Hot. You like it hot? I like it like that. You like it like that? I know you like it like that. Ho 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 ho! Yeah! I want to say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another video. Ah, I've got, a, got my cup of freshly brewed coffee, which is a good thing. I'm in my uh, T92 in my sheriff's account, which <laughs> to some of you is a bad thing. Uh, in my sheriff's account, so if someone kills me, they win 250 gold, which is a good thing. A good thing, bad thing, it's, you know, it's kind of relative. It's sometimes there's a fine line between what's good and what's bad. What can be construed as good and what can be construed as bad. It's funny that I should start like that because there's... Let me give you just a, my, uh, a snapshot into my life in the past couple of hours. And it's a weird things have happened and I'm, it, I'm not sure if it's good or it's bad but to summarize it that the outcome I'm sitting here doing this video for you I've got a cup of coffee dark roast with one cream steaming hot who oh. ah, tastes great that's good uh, it's raining out which I kind of think it's bad because I wanted to go for a bike ride but I, I can't uh, but I mean the farmers would argue it could be a bad thing. That could go either way. And the third thing is I have an umbrella with me, uh, which you would think, since it's raining outside, would be a good thing, but it's, actually, it's a bad thing. How did this all come to be? Uh, well, it started uh, started this morning when I got up and realized I was out of coffee and it was raining, and I decided to go to the coffee shop and buy myself a, a cup of coffee, which I do sometimes when I run out because I forget and then, you know, on the way back, sometimes I stop and I pick up some more. But anyway, I get to the coffee shop. It's raining out. Isn't it funny how people react when it's raining out? Because I, I pull in there and I just I drive there and I pull in, turn off the vehicle. And, you know, you, you see there's, there's some rain coming. So you see people outside. And they're running as if like, oh, my God, it's raining. And you know, scurrying around like crazy like chickens with their heads cut off. Like as if less drops are going to hit you. But anyways, okay, so I go into the coffee shop. <laughs> and uh, it, there wasn't that much. There were only two people in front of me uh, in line. And they both happened to be very attractive, nice uh, young women in line. One with kind of uh, darker hair, one with the lighter hair. It's the only, uh, uh, not going to get into exactly what they look like. But, they're, you know, they're both very attractive women. And uh, I kind of, you know, scope things out as I come in confidently, with, you know, ready to get my coffee. Uh, just to brush a little bit of the water off my shoulders, and I, I immediately noticed uh, that uh, there, there's three ways that uh, that the people in line in front of you, men or women, can react. But specifically, women. I, I notice, I look for the reaction in the women more than the, like the men. I don't care, but to the women, there's three ways they can react. And the, the number one way is the um, not that it's the number one way, but the first of the three possibilities is they can give you that uh, scoffing, scowling. Oh my God. You know the with the face drew uh, the, like uh, as if they're tasting something that is unappealing and then they slowly look away that kind of reaction that's the that's that, that's not a very good reaction ne neither of them did that and then that's the number of one of the three possibilities uh, the second possibility is they can you know just be indifferent just uh, y you walk into their line of sight like into their peripherals and they keep staring exactly at what they were looking at and when I know as humans that as soon as something walks into your peripheral you immediately notice it and usually there's some kind of like a look over or a reaction right? but you can tell some of the in women in particular you walk into the peripherals and they look str they 
they noticed, but they they must have tried and and built this reaction into their they they have to physically stop themselves from and they just look forward as if to say yeah, I know you're there but I don't care that reaction that's the number two out of three and the light-haired one did that just you know straight ahead no you know nothing no acknowledgement nothing then the third possibility is the you walk in you uh, approach they see you from the peripheral and then they do the uh, oh you know, they look over and a smile and a little bit of a nod or it doesn't have to be a, just a smile it's an acknowledgement oh hi and the one with the darker hair did that and that was nice I smiled back it was very pleasant <coughs> so it was really nice so the, you know it started nice and they got their coffees um, and I got mine and I was headed out the store right after it's it raining so you know I, I get out I'm looking up looking at look where my truck is and I notice um, uh, the, the brunette, the one who smiled, is, is uh, right there under the kind of the overhang where it's still dry. And she's carefully balancing her coffee and she's just opened her umbrella. She had an umbrella and so now she's got an open umbrella in her right hand. I, yeah, and, and her coffee in her left hand. She's just slowly starting towards her car, right? And uh, so, you know, because there was a little bit of an acknowledgement and uh, she was uh, you know, very pleasant and fairly attractive and she's got a coffee i've got a coffee and we exchanged that you know that little little moment and uh, so i th i thought it would be really kind of um, cute you know cute and uh uh, uh funny and uh, in a lovable way to like uh, you know run up and uh because i had a coffee too and you know, run up beside her and kind of grab her uh, right arm that she's holding the umbrella and you know kind of like run up beside her and grab her arm and go oh it's dry under here kind of you know a little in a in a harmless laughing ha ha you hi and you know, just grab her arm like like surprise her a little bit in a playful way run up grab her arm and say oh you've got an umbrella it's dry here and you know like help her hold it <laughs> playfully you know to break the ice kind of a, I, I thought it was it would be really uh you know kind of playful and uh, and and happy funny kind of way right so i did that and uh, just as i grabbed her arm and i was just about to say oh it's so uh, hi it's so dry remember me i'm the dark roast with one cream guy right uh, before i could say that uh she kind of i guess i uh, scared her a little bit because i came from behind and she wasn't expecting it and she kind of like jumped back and and said ah! like that like screaming oh my God! And she dropped the umbrella and ran uh, to her car about and she was getting all wet and she ran to her car and she I noticed coffee spilling and she got there and you know got in and fumbled with the keys and, and got in and slammed the door and big big eyes looking out there terrified look and I was just standing there I was a little bit in shock and uh what, oh boy like what do I do right and I, her umbrella's on the ground still open I reached down to pick up the umbrella and out of my just as I reached down to pick up the umbrella uh out of my peripherals I noticed uh from my my right uh the other woman that was in line the blonde was already at her car uh, about 10 15 feet to the right and she was looking over I saw her out of my peripherals on the right and I you know because I don't do the I ignore them I looked over at her kind of hoping I don't know uh, looking at her like see like uh, she dropped her you see what are you did you witness this the, the poor girl she dropped her umbrella I'm gonna now pick it up and and bring it to her car but she just she just looked at me and said oh my god and then she reached she was on her cell phone she i could tell she pulled out her cell phone and then she was on her cell phone and i'm standing there i've got an umbrella the the girl is starting to pull out now the 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 pleasant one that started off and i you know ran to the car and i knocked on her window and i'm saying trying to say you dropped your umbrella here i'm you know, i'm sorry here's your um but she did she wouldn't stop uh, like I, I guess with the rain and the windows being closed and her pulling back at the end she she just 
she left. She uh, drove away, and I guess she didn't hear me. And I looked over at the other woman who was talking on the phone, and I, I'm standing there, and I'll, I, I'm thinking, I'm here, she's phoning the cops, and here I am. I've got a stolen umbrella. And all I could think of doing was I, I beelined it straight to my truck. I mean, I got, I got to the truck. I'm, I'm kind of fumbling, trying to get my key. I've got the umbrella. And it's, it's suddenly, it feels like it's a little windy, so it's shaking in the wind. And I, I remember putting my uh, coffee down on top of the, the like, on top. And I, I opened the door, and I c couldn't close the freaking thing, so I just jammed it in there open. You know, you could easily put it in open, but I'm thinking, well, how am I going to get it out? But that's okay. I can open the other door when I and then get it out front way, So because when you pull it back... And I got my coffee, I got in there, and I left. I left as fast as I could uh, and came home. Uh, on the way home, I'm thinking, Gee, like, how did that get, the situation get so screwed up out of hand? And, uh, it, 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 so here I am. Uh, I've, got, uh, I've got my coffee, which is good. It's raining, which uh, turns out to not, I think it's not good. And I've got an umbrella, which you'd think I'd be happy about if it's raining, but I'm not. Because it's stolen, technically, I guess. You would describe it as a stolen umbrella. And I know that, like, if she got my license plate number as I drove off, I, the cops could show up as I'm recording this. And I've still got, uh, when I got home, I, had, I, could, <laughs> I still can't close the thing. I had to get out, open the passenger door, and pull it out. And um, the, so what do I do? Do I bring it back again if I... Go back there and maybe, maybe go back there after the video and hand it into the store and uh, say, yeah, the, a lady dropped her umbrella and uh, just, you know, maybe you got lost and found. Or will there be people? Is my picture going to be up there? Are they going to be waiting? So it's that some things are good and some things are bad, right? And it's hard it, depending on the circumstances. You have to, uh, you always have to, uh, things have to be put into context before you can decide these things, you know. And, uh, damn it, I'll let you be the judge. But the, but the universe has a way of uh, working itself out. And you have to roll with it. You have to uh, accept, uh, because what it means is uh, probably the uni universe was deciding uh, that uh, by making it rain. And uh, I... Like, think of the coincidences and the set of circumstances, right? I, I ran out of coffee on this particular day that it was raining. And I needed one because I was going to make a video for you. And so I went to get one. And there happened to be uh, two attractive women in line, right? One who had an umbrella and uh, led me on to want to uh, be forward and uh, accepting of her present the other one not in the one with the umbrella is the one who was nice right all of those the uh, different circumstances in the, what are the odds right and then uh, to come up and and this is what you get you see uh, you you get uh, uh, you get this this is the story you get today this morning it's and it's not me I didn't uh, I didn't have the idea. You didn't have the idea. Strangers, people who are not even subscribed to the channel, had influence on how we share our day. Have you ever thought of it that way? Huh? That woman who's probably speaking to the police right now does not realize it, but she has um, affected your morning uh, as well. See, thousands of you that are uh, listening. Not sure if you're still listening but if you're still listening uh, there are strangers that the reason you're hearing what you're hearing is because of the actions and the uh, just the sheer coincidences of it all right but does it all make sense it does nothing makes sense it, the whole universe is fucked up that that's what the whole that's the moral that's the takeaway is that you have no idea what's going to happen and and the and the next step the for you to decide and let me know in the comments is uh, has it been a good day or a bad day so far did like do you look at it uh, as the glass glass is half empty or half full i'm i'm looking at my coffee saying it's still half full do i walk away thinking i've scored a new umbrella and i've got a great uh, cup of coffee or do i say uh, all I, i've only got half a cup of coffee left 
and I'm a possession of uh, some stolen property. If there's two ways of looking at it, and, and as an observer, I mean, this is, this is our channel, yours as well. As an observer, you, it, we, today we got uh, Klaus telling us a story about this. he stole an umbrella and accosted a woman, as opposed to possibly getting riveting commentary of uh, the decisions made and, and how we pulled a victory from the jaws of defeat. And, uh, you know, and, uh, how I did pretty good in my silly little pixel uh, tank. You never know. You never know what you're going to get. I never promised you a rose garden, right? Eh? Mama said Klaus's channel was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get.